guys in this video we are going to see how we can use 3d models inside of davinci resolve to create really cool map animations so yeah let's get started i have a blank fusion composition over here i'm going to go to the fusion page and i'm going to create a simple map animation first of all what we need to do is grab the map image got this asset from qgis i created this space map over there and I'm going to use this for this animation. Then we're going to turn this into an image plane 3D. Here we have it. And now this will take this into this 3D viewport. After the image plane 3D, we want to combine this with a 3D model. So in this case, I'm really using a 3D model that I got from Sketchfab. So uh, this, the download was available as um, a usdz format but we are going to be using the fpx 3d inside of the fusion so i downloaded the usdz format and then with this website over here put the link in the description you can convert this to an fpx so then i can go into the dimension resolve and import that file so as you can see that's right over here so if i go to fusion import fpx scene i'll just locate that file and just simply double click on it to import it. And I don't want any animation camera, lights or nulls, just the mesh and the material. Click on OK to import that. So here's this group. And if you take a look at this final merge node over here, and you have to just zoom back out so that you can see the entire thing. And if you enable lighting, you can see it with the lighting. You'll notice that this cockpit is kind of modeled in a way where we cannot see the interiors. Uh, so the way we can fix this is by finding that object and since I've already done it previously It's I know it's the object 6 over here So if I disable this you can see the interior of it. So what I want to do is I want to change the Material opacity. I want to kind of have a glass material on this go to the material that is linked with this object Which is grappin canopy. So uh, go ahead and click on that go to in the controls we have diffuse over here just simply have to reduce the opacity over here and then we'll be able to see that now we can connect this to a uh, image plane 3d but before that after the merge 3d we will add in a transform 3d and just connect it up like so this will automatically add, add in this merge 3d over here go ahead and take a look at it and as you can see it's quite big we our map is there, but we are not able to see it because uh, this plane is massive. So we have to go to this transform 3D and reduce the size. And then we can go ahead and click on fit over here. And we can still see the size is too big for this. So we have to just manually enter the values over here. So I'm going to type in 0 0.0001, hit enter. Then you can see that now it's a much better size. We are going to add in a camera and let's move this over here and after this merge 3d we'll add in a render 3d let's take a look at this render 3d go to the camera over here and go to transform and let's change the z position to be see the entire map all right so now what we're going to do is we'll just go to the transform 3d and we will change the rotation of this plane so we'll set this to 90 so that we can get a bird's eye view perspective on this scene and then we'll also increase the z position just slightly so that it doesn't merge with the map over here then what we're going to do is we will add in a spotlight or you can add in a directional light you can try with different lighting over here but in my preview i used a direction light and just connect that to the merge 3d over here then in the renderer 3d turn on hardware renderer turn on lighting and shadows now it's affecting the map over here but if you go to the mesh plane 3d which is connected to this map you can also rename this uh, let's right click rename it to base map and in the image plane 3d in material we will disable lighting the direction light is not affecting this base map uh, and now we can go ahead and change some settings over here. Let's go to controls shadows and make sure that is enabled and Let's go to softness set that to constant And I'm also going to go to the camera over here 
and click on use target option and then we can just sort of move around like so and here we can see the cam uh, the shadows as well that this uh, plane is casting on the map uh, which is pretty cool so let's just zoom in to our scene and let's reset the x over here and i will just sort of zoom in like that and i can create any sort of animation on this let's also go to the direction line and we will set this to constant and maybe increase some softness in here so now it's all about animation now you can create any kind of animation and just go to the camera 3d and animate the translation and the rotation group let's go to last frame and just sort of create an animation like this and once you do this then you'll have a really subtle animation then you can animate the transform of the jet so let's just uh, go to the very first frame animate translate group rotation group Let's go to the last frame and you can just sort of change the, the position. Uh, let's not mess around with the Z axis over here. You just want to change the X and the Y. Let's kind of bring it in, out from the scene and then it's going to come in like this. And then you can also change the Y position as well or the Z position and make it rotate it in any direction that you want. Right, so maybe at the last frame, we can just sort of move it over here like that. So uh, there you have it. That's how easy it is to create or incorporate 3D models into your 2D scenes using DaVinci Resolve in the Fusion page and now you can just add as many effects as you want for example I have this circle shape animation from the AE Juice Pack Manager if you're not sure what that is then I've made a video on it already you can check out that video a link will be in the description or you can go just browse the channel I'm gonna just add in the same image plane 3D to this and connect that to this merge 3D now, if we take a look at it, uh, you can see the HUD over here in action, but it is going to stop playing after a while because this animation is just, so as you can see, uh, if I click on this eye icon, it's one second and some frames, um, but we can, these are loopable assets. So if I go to the merge over here and click on loop, now it will loop continuously like so. And then I can place it inside of uh, the animation over here and then in the image plane 3d i can go to the transform and reduce the scale and maybe just slightly increase the z position on it if you see this shadow that's because um, let's go to the lighting and uncheck shadow caster from here okay and let's keep this enabled shadow receiver and i can change the position and place it anywhere that i want so maybe somewhere over here and it's gonna make it look like that this is following this particular target over here so yeah that is pretty much it that's how you can create um, these sort of animations inside of DaVinci Resolve uh, thank you so much for watching I hope this video was helpful hope it will help you in your current projects I'll see you guys in the next one